Ever since the Mercedes-Benz GL debuted back in 2007, it's proven to be a very capable three-row luxury SUV. The biggest SUV in Mercedes lineup, this boasts much of the Mercedes-Benz technology you can get and offers a level of refinement that is true to the Mercedes-Benz name. So is it competitive in the full-size luxury SUV segment? Let's go ahead and find out. So here is the key fob design of the vehicle. I think it's very simple and a little bit elegant. It's nothing too flashy though. But you do have your lock, your unlock, and to release your trunk, and the panic button of course. Now this one I have here is a GL350 2015 Blue Tech with the 3 liter turbo diesel engine. And I particularly like these 19 inch wheels. I don't think they're too flashy looking, but like I said, with the rest of the car styling, very mature looking. Now the styling of the GL I think is very restrained, but elegance screams out at the same time, which I somewhat like. It's not screaming that I'm a flashy SUV like the Escalade, but it's still very elegant in its design. Also, I think the GL is quite mature and very grown up in its personality. You do have smart key access on all four doors. It is a diamond white metallic exterior with chrome door handles as well. With the almond beige leatherette interior. The power lumbar power driver seat controls and your power headrest now this leatherette upholstery is actually called MB Tex what they like to call it full on leather is optional of course now stepping into the interior of the GL as you can see it's very elegant in its design with quality materials all around. And you do have push button ignition, of course. Just put your foot on the brake, hit the button to start. Very nice. You do have a seven speed automatic transmission and the shifter is actually located up here. You're just gonna put it down for drive, up for reverse. And putting it into reverse displays your rear view camera and a 360 degree view camera. And it's actually pretty useful, I have to say. And just push for park. And you do have manual shiftability via the paddle shifters. And let's go ahead and cut on the lights and the hazards as well. All windows are fully automatic, of course. And let's go ahead and pop the hood check out the engine bay heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators integrated onto the mirrors and you do have blind spot monitoring HID headlights with LED turn signal indicators. Now coming to the front end, I love the grille of the GL, I have to say. And I really love the LED turn signals and you do have LED daytime running lights as well. And I think it kind of looks like the CLA and the new S-Class somewhat. And I think it has a very restrained look, but again, it looks very mature and restrained at the same time. And it just screams elegance, I have to say. Now, under the hood of this big body Benz is a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel. Now, you will expect to find EPA estimated mileage of 19 in the city and 26 on the highway with a, okay, 240 horsepower, but that's not the big news here. It's the amount of torque it has. 
450 pound feet of torque that moves this big body bends around. Now optional is also a 4.7 liter V8 and if you want to step up to the very expensive GL63 AMG you can get a 5.5 liter V8. But this powertrain definitely gets the job done and made it with the 7 speed automatic transmission it makes a wonderful couple. But this turbo diesel is a very refined and powerful powertrain and it definitely gets the job done and paired with the 7 speed automatic transmission it makes for a wonderful pair. Pricing of the GL starts at around $63,000 and then it can move up all the way to $90,000 and then the special edition GL63 AMG is a whopping $120,000. Now competitors of the GL are in the full size luxury SUV class and the GL is definitely one of the best full size luxury SUVs but competitors range from the Cadillac Escalade, the Lexus LX, Infiniti QX, the Lincoln Navigator as well. Now coming to the rear end you have LED turn signal indicators but no LED tail lamps which I'm actually kind of surprised about that but you do have LED turn signals and I really love how the bumper is designed for some reason I just really loved how the GLs have that bumper design then you have the your rear window defroster with the rear window wiper and a shark fin antenna up there of course and if you get the diesel you'll get that blue tech badging right there but as you can see it's a very large SUV You have your running boards right here, which makes access into the jail much easier. Nice stitched armrests, stitching right here on the mid door panel, and soft touch materials on the upper door panel, of course. It's a Mercedes. Your power windows, power mirrors, your power door locks are located right here, and your memory seat settings for three people. And Let's go ahead and rev up this monster and see what kind of soundtrack she makes. Alright. Now, first thing I'm noticing is that there is a little bit of clattering from that diesel engine, but it's definitely not what I expected. I tested out a Chevy Cruze diesel the other day, and there was much clattering in that, but this is way more refined. Now, build quality and materials are, of course, excellent. Um, nice stitching soft touch materials everywhere in places you expect them and in places you really don't expect them now you do have tri-zone automatic climate control dual zone up here of course and here's your different temperatures and your different zones and it's actually very ergonomically correct um, very simple, easy to control knobs. Now, coming to your center console, it's nice and stitched and soft to the touch, of course. But you do have a USB port and it ends lined with felt. And a iPod adapter. 
Now, coming to your steering wheel, all your controls for the TFT display in the middle right there is all controlled right here. And then you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, your Bluetooth phone connectivity, your voice recognition. Now, coming to your center screen right there, you have your Fahrenheit readout and your digital clock and you do have a TFT display in the middle right there which shows you all vehicle information including the tire pressure monitoring system your fuel economy data as well as the direction of travel you're going so your integrated compass what radio station you're on and your telephone settings and your driver assistance settings including your blind spot monitoring and your lane keep assist and you do have Distronic Plus on this car as well. Now coming to your main head unit here this is Mercedes command interface and it's pretty much all controlled by this dial right here and while I do like the Mercedes command interface I really love the simplicity of it it's just getting a little behind the times um, the rendering is really good, the graphics are very clear and easy to read. It's just a little small in my opinion. But you do have an AM, FM, CD player of course. Navigation as well, very clear and easy to read, nice and crisp. But I've been seeing this on way too many Mercedes lately. satellite radio. You also do have a Harman Kardon sound system. Your balance and fader, your bass, treble, and your surround. Bluetooth streaming audio. And your Mercedes-Benz apps. Your internet radio. Your serious weather service and your operator's manual. Now coming down here you do have heated and cool cup holders and a little storage cubby down there as well. Now coming to your stocks you have your rain sensing windshield wipers, your cruise control stock is actually right here and many co people complain about the cruise control stock being right here because they accidentally press it for being the turn signals. Now, one gripe I do have about the Geo is that I wish Mercedes would just get rid of these buttons on the side right here. They're just very dated. They've been using this since I don't know how long. But um, you do have heated seats, of course, your parking sensors, your traction control as well. Now, you also do have a height adjustable suspension. And when I press that button right here, it tells me that the vehicle is rising. And you do have the Airmatic air suspension as well. And you do have the downhill control as well. Now the seats in the GL are very comfortable, very supportive as well. Great for long road trips. Now visibility out of the GL is pretty good. Thanks to lots of glass area, there's no sloping roof line. It's actually very boxy, I have to say. Just lots of glass area all around. And as far as the way the GL drives, it doesn't drive like a sports SUV. Don't expect it to be like a BMW X5 or anything like that. However, it has a very smooth, compliant ride that really competes with Lexus and Cadillac. So all in all, given as a whole, I really do like the interior of the GL. I think it's very classy and very elegant without being too overridden with a bunch of technology. I think the Escalade has more of the technology up in the upper hand, I have to say, as far as their interface goes. But I really like Mercedes-Benz command system over Cadillac's Q. I think the Mercedes-Benz command is much easier to, easier to use on a daily basis and the response is much better on the command. Auto Demi Rearview Mirror, SOS Safety Connect, 
your interior illumination lighting panoramic sunroof as well which extends all the way back to the third row which is pretty surprising nice nifty feature definitely gives the cabin a more airy feel all right and let's go ahead and shut down the GL let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car let's go ahead and check out the second row the third row and the trunk capacity where the GL really shines in the segment let's go ahead and pop the trunk you have the power tailgate now back here this is actually where the GL really shines in its trunk capacity it's actually one of the best in class I have to say but you do have a 12 volt power outlet back here and you can fold the rear seats down power folding rear seats just by the press of a button very nifty feature and like I said you do have a power tailgate now materials and build quality of course do follow through in the rear it's a Mercedes of course stitching right here stitching everywhere nice soft touch upper door panel build quality is excellent now Back here, there's much room in the GL. You do have dual map pockets, and like I said, you do have tri-zone automatic climate control. So you do have automatic climate control back here, your air vents, and your different zones. That's a little storage cubby right there. And you do have a 12 volt power outlet down there. And the carpeting in the GL is very nice too. You do have cup holders with the rear center armrest. Now the seats themselves back here are very supportive, very comfortable. You can easily fit two adults back here. I don't know about three, but two adults definitely could fit comfortably back here. It's definitely a great road trip car and a great family car. I honestly really don't have any complaints. And they actually carved out this part of the back of the seat, of the front seat for your knees, which is a very thoughtful feature to have. So I have to say, I really like the way you can get into the third row of the GL. It's very simple. Just pull this up. Pull this up as well. And it comes right up. And just hop in. Easy as that. Now back here, the third row is actually usable for two adults. Um, while it's not, you know, the most spacious, it's not a minivan back here, it's definitely a lot better than what I've tested out in other full-size luxury SUVs. And the seats themselves are actually very comfortable for third row seats. I really like these seats. Um, they're just really comfortable. And of course, build quality and materials are still excellent back here. However, they did cheap it out right here. It's pretty hard plastic, um, but nice soft touch materials on the armrest, and you do have a convenient cup holder right here too. And you also do have rear map lights back here. And you also do have the other part of your sunroof. This part is just a shade. Very nifty. Full power passenger seat with a powered headrest. Now stepping into the front passenger seat, here's your glove box compartment. Lined with felt, nice and damp, and pretty deep too. All right. So the Mercedes GL, it proves to be very roomy, powerful and solidly built and this is what makes it one of the best three-row luxury SUVs you can buy so remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews Q I think the Mercedes-Benz command is much easier to easier to use on a daily basis 
and the response is much better on the command. Auto dimming rear view mirror, SOS safety connect, your interior illumination lighting, panoramic sunroof as well, which extends all the way back to the third row, which is pretty surprising. Nice nifty feature, definitely gives the cabin a more airy feel. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the GL. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and check out the second row, the third row, and the trunk capacity where the GL really shines in this segment. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. You have the power tailgate. Now back here, this is actually where the GL really shines in its trunk capacity. It's actually one of the best in class, I have to say. But you do have a 12 volt power outlet back here and you can fold the rear seats down, power folding rear seats. Just by the press of a button. Very nifty feature. And build quality is excellent. Now, back here, there's much room in the GL. You do have dual map pockets. And like I said, you do have tri zone automatic climate control. So you do have automatic climate control back here, your air vents, and your different zones. That's a little storage cubby right there. And you do have a 12 volt power outlet down there. And the carpeting in the GL is very nice too. You do have cup holders with the rear center armrest. Now the seats themselves back here are very supportive, very comfortable. You can easily fit two adults back here. I don't know about three, but two adults definitely can fit comfortably back here. It's definitely a great road trip car and a great family car. I honestly really don't have any complaints and they actually carved out this part of the back of the seat of the front seat for your knees which is a very thoughtful feature to have. So I have to say I really like the way you can get into the third row of the GL. It's very simple. Just pull this up pull this up as well and it comes right up and just hop in easy as that now back here the third row is actually usable very very clear and easy to read it's just a little small in my opinion but you do have an AM FM CD player of course navigation as well very clear and easy to read nice and crisp but I've been seeing this on way too many Mercedes lately. Your satellite radio. You also do have a Harman Kardon sound system. Your balance and fader, your bass, treble, and your surround. Bluetooth streaming audio. And your Mercedes-Benz apps, your internet radio, your serious weather service, and your operator's manual. Now coming down here you do have heated and cool cup holders and a little storage cubby down there as well. Now coming to your stocks you have your Rain sensing windshield wipers, your cruise control stock is actually right here and many co people complain about the cruise control stock being right here because they accidentally press it for being the turn signals.
Now, first thing I'm noticing is that there is a little bit of clattering from that diesel engine, but it's definitely not what I expected. I tested out a Chevy Cruze diesel the other day, and there was much clattering in that, but this is way more refined. Now, build quality and materials are, of course, excellent. Um, nice stitching, soft touch materials everywhere. In places you expect them, and in places you really don't expect them. Now you do have tri-zone automatic climate control, dual zone up here of course, and here's your different temperatures and your different zones. And it's like line width felt. And a iPod adapter. Now coming to your steering wheel all your controls for the TFT display in the middle right there is all controlled right here. And then you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, your Bluetooth phone connectivity, your voice recognition. Now coming to your center screen right there, you have your Fahrenheit readout and your digital clock. And you do have a TFT display in the middle right there which shows you all vehicle information including the tire pressure monitoring system, your fuel economy data, as well as the direction of travel you're going, so your integrated compass, what radio station you're on, and your telephone settings, and your driver assistance settings, including your blind spot monitoring and your lane keep assist, and you do have Distronic Plus on this car as well. Now coming to your main head unit here, this is Mercedes command interface and it's pretty much all controlled by this dial right here. And while I do like the Mercedes command interface, I really love the simplicity of it. It's just getting a little behind the times. Um, the rendering is really good, the graphics are mirror, SOS safety connect, your interior illumination lighting, panoramic sunroof as well, which extends all the way back to the third row, which is pretty surprising. Nice nifty feature, definitely gives the cabin a more airy feel. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the GL. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and check out the second row, the third row, and the trunk capacity where the GL really shines in this segment. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. You have the power tailgate. Now back here, this is actually where the GL really shines in its trunk capacity. It's actually one of the best in class, I have to say. But you do have a 12 volt power outlet back here. And you can fold the rear seats down, power folding rear seats. Just by the press of a button. Very nifty feature. And like I said, you do have a power tailgate. Now, materials and build quality, of course, do follow through in the rear. It's a Mercedes, of course. Stitching right here. So, all in all, given as a whole, I really do like the interior of the GL. I think it's very classy and very elegant without being too overridden with a bunch of technology. I think the Escalade has more of the technology up in the upper hand, I have to say, as far as their interface goes, but I really like Mercedes-Benz command system over Cadillac's Q. I think the Mercedes-Benz command is much easier to, easier to use on a daily basis, and the response is much better on the command. Auto dimming rear view mirror, SOS safety connect, your interior illumination lighting, panoramic sunroof as well, which extends all the way back to the third row, which is pretty surprising. Nice nifty feature, definitely gives the cabin a more airy feel. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the GL. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and check out the second row 
the third row and the trunk capacity where the GL really shines in this segment. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. You have the power tailgate. Now back here, this is actually where the GL really shines in its trunk capacity. It's actually one of the best in Mercedes-Benz Command is much easier to, easier to use on a daily basis and the response is much better on the Command. Auto dimming rear view mirror, SOS safety connect, your interior illumination lighting, panoramic sunroof as well, which extends all the way back to the third row, which is pretty surprising. Nice nifty feature, definitely gives the cabin a more airy feel. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the GL. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Let's go ahead and check out the second row, the third row, and the trunk capacity where the GL really shines in this segment. Let's go ahead and pop the trunk. You have the power tailgate. Now back here, this is actually where the GL really shines in its trunk capacity. It's actually one of the best in class, I have to say. But you do have a 12 volt power outlet back here. And you can fold the rear seats down, power folding rear seats. Just by the press of a button. Very nifty feature. And like I said, you do have a big cruise diesel the other day, and there was much clattering in that, but this is way more refined. Now, build quality and materials are, of course, excellent. Um, nice stitching, soft touch materials everywhere. In places you expect them, and in places you really don't expect them. Now, you do have tri-zone automatic climate control, dual zone up here, of course. And here's your different temperatures and your different zones and it's actually very ergonomically correct um, very simple easy to control knobs now coming to your center console it's nice and stitched and soft to the touch of course but you do have a USB port and it is lined with felt and a iPod adapter now, coming to your steering wheel, all your controls for the TFT display in the middle right there is all controlled right here. And then you do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, your Bluetooth phone connectivity, your voice recognition. Now, coming to your center screen right there, you have your Fahrenheit readout and your digital clock. And you do have a 